Ancient conveying formation. Each time it's activated, it exhausts a hundred thousand superior grade spirit stones. What is happening? Someone who recognized the formation exclaimed. Bai Zan's expression became more and more relaxed. He looked at Xiao Chen as though Xiao Chen was already a dead man. Xiao Chen only had one hour left. There was no time, he could not afford to delay any longer. Dong, dong, dong. Xiao Chen bowed slightly and placed his right hand on his saber hilt. Suddenly he started running quickly and a strong wind howled. Bai Zan's gaze turned cold. He said, Reckless fool, you really dared to make a move against me. The temperature of the surrounding air plummeted. Bai Zan sent out a palm strike that he had been preparing behind his back. A huge ice palm appeared out of nowhere and pressed towards Xiao Chen. Break. A purple light flared as Xiao Chen drew his saber. An overwhelming killing intent poured out. The huge ice palm was immediately chopped in half before shattering into countless ice shards and falling to the floor. When Bai Zan saw Xiao Chen break the ice palm, he appeared shocked. Half a year ago, Xiao Chen had to use one of his trump cards to break it. Now, Xiao Chen dealt with it with one saber strike. Roaming Dragon's Nine Transformations Clear wind chop. Xiao Chen's figure wavered and became nine. Nine cool breezes blew at Bai Zan and the overwhelming killing intent disappeared. When the overwhelming killing intent suddenly vanished, the surrounding air turned from heavy to relaxed. The bystanders were all astonished. Excellent fellow. His control over his killing intent has almost reached a level where he can control it as he pleases. I can control my killing intent as I please too. However, his killing intent is on a different scale compared to mine. This fellow is quite strong. Bai Zan was astounded. It was hard to imagine that Xiao Chen could reach such a level in half a year. However, I did not stagnate in the past half year, either. Bai Zan did not lose his confidence, he still expected to have the last laugh. Furthermore, all he had to do was last for one hour. By then, Eight martial monarchs, who could kill Xiao Chen in seconds, would arrive. Thousand flaming palms. Bai Zan shouted ferociously as he moved the hands that he held behind his back. The surrounding cold air suddenly surged and turned hot. The shift from the state of ice to the state of fire was as smooth as flowing water. There was no impediment whatsoever. Countless flaming palms descended from the sky. Those flaming palms looked very solid. The palm lines of those palms were very clear, and even the ridges on the fingertips were very distinct. Bang, bang, bang. When the palms landed on the floor, they blasted deep holes in it. Unexpectedly, the special floor of the Divine Dragon Warship could not withstand the might of the flaming palms. The floor beneath everyone's feet started to shake. No one could stand stably. The nine Xiao Chens moved like the wind, weaving between the flaming palms, and rushed at Bai Zan. Just as the nine Xiao Chens approached, they merged together. The previously vanished killing intent surged out. A saber light appeared as Xiao Chen hacked down. I see morning spirit palm. Bai Zan shouted and the fiery rain of flaming palms in the air gathered in his hands. They turned into bone-chilling palms, fire and ice instantly interchanging. Bang! The saber light slammed into the ice palm. A powerful shock wave immediately exploded out together with surging essence. Bai Zan's complexion paled. He was forced back a hundred meters by this attack. He looked very surprised, having unexpectedly lost in regard to essence. Pa, pa. He sent out two palm strikes where he was. Cold wind blew from one palm and a heat wave from the other. Xiao Chen was instantly trapped between two extremes. The contrast was hard to bear and Xiao Chen slowed down. Bai Zan had rich combat experience, far beyond what the four young masters had. The moment Xiao Chen showed an opening, Bai Zan immediately grabbed hold of the opportunity, rushing forward to smash a palm strike on Xiao Chen. This palm strike contained a bone-chilling energy that invaded Xiao Chen's blood vessels and meridians. Boom. Laughing maniacally, Bai Zan promptly sent his left palm over, the one containing the boundless fiery energy. 
The close combat resulted in Xiao Chen's saber losing its effectiveness. Bai Zan intended to take Xiao Chen down in one burst, completely trampling on him. It was a good plan. However, Bai Zan did not know that Xiao Chen's close combat techniques were no weaker than his saber techniques. Berserk Dragon Fist A dragon roared and an azure dragon head appeared on his left hand as Xiao Chen punched. The fist and palm collided, resulting in sparks flying. Xiao Chen's horrifying strength exploded out. Bai Zan's arm went numb. This punch knocked Bai Zan back by 10 meters. However, Xiao Chen did not even move a step back. He swung his lunar shadow saber and drew a scarlet arc. Flickering with electricity, the arc blocked Bai Zan, who was rushing forward again. The two continued exchanging moves in midair in such a manner. Horrifying shock waves propagated into the surroundings, astonishing the spectators. Bai Zan had exquisite combat experience. After he realized that he was inferior to Xiao Chen in regard to essence, he immediately changed his strategy. He switched rapidly between the opposing attributes of ice and fire to deal with Xiao Chen. This resulted in him not being at a disadvantage. While in midair, the two executed their killing moves, sending out all sorts of martial techniques. Resplendent lights flew all over the place. The two seemed to be evenly matched, the fight was very intense. As time passed, Bai Zan slowly lost ground. Xiao Chen's state of massacre was too strong. The killing intent poured into Bai Zan's bones, affecting his movements. At first, the influence was not great. However, over time, fluctuations appeared in his mental state. When Bai Zan attacked, he could not help but reveal some openings. Xiao Chen grasped them and another horrifying wound appeared on Bai Zan's body. At some point in time, Xuanyuan Zantian, mounted on his royal dragon horse, suddenly appeared among the crowd. He watched with interest as the two fought. The Southern Sea's four heroes and the Western Sea's seven knights were also attracted by this marvelous fight. Everyone walking by stopped to watch, occasionally commenting. Bai Zan shot a glance at the ancient conveying formation. He saw that there were already eight vague figures above the ancient conveying formation. When the eight vague figures fully materialized, they would be sent over. I cannot drag this out any longer. If I keep dragging this out, I will be defeated. Bai Zan used a big move to force Xiao Chen back before quickly retreating. Looking at Xiao Chen from high in the air, Bai Zan asked sternly, Do you dare to let the next move be the deciding move? Xiao Chen brandished the saber in his hand and pointed it at Bai Zan. He replied, Exactly what I am thinking. Bai Zan shouted a ferocious war cry. The ice attributed and fire attributed spiritual energies of heaven and earth gathered together relentlessly. Fire and ice were opposing attributes. However, with Bai Zan's control, he managed to merge them together. A huge whirlpool formed in front of him, it looked very weird. The whirlpool had the destructive frenzy of a raging inferno and the chill of ice. The two energies merged together to form a new type of energy. Countless ice shards and sparks spewed out of the whirlpool instantly. The ice shards and sparks contained tremendous energy. When the ice shards struck the onlookers, wounds appeared on their faces. It felt very painful, like knives cutting them. The others were startled and quickly deployed essence shields. The sparks and ice shards struck the shields, and clanging sounds rang out. Ice and fire oppose each other, this is the law of nature. How can they be merged together? This is inconceivable. How did he achieve this move? I can't figure it out. Xuanyuan Zantian's expression changed after a while. He muttered, so that is how. It is not a true melding. Instead, he just managed a delicate balance. Once the balance is broken, they will erupt with a horrifying energy, giving the opponent a lethal blow. The leader of the Southern Sea's four heroes added, Ice and fire cannot tolerate each other. Forcibly merging them will generate a huge destructive force. Before he makes his move, he suppresses this destructive force, which he will leave to his opponent to handle. What a brilliant line of thought. The evil moon pavilions by Zahn lives up to his reputation. 
He truly is one of the peak geniuses of the great Jin nation, the Western Sea's Seven Knights leader sighed with evident respect in his tone. Even the experts present nodded in acknowledgement of Bai Zan's move. Everyone all withdrew another few hundred meters. Even Xuanyuan Zantian was no exception. This was because they could anticipate how destructive this move would be. Getting caught in its shock wave would not be good. Die. Raging frost flame wave. Bai Zan pushed both his hands forward. The ice and fire whirlpool in front of him turned into two spiraling waves of light, quickly spinning as they headed for Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen frowned slightly. He was preparing to use Wukui moves heaven to deal with him. However, when he saw Bai Zan's raging frost flame wave, he knew that his Wukui moves heaven would not be able to withstand that destructive force. Xiao Chen thought carefully and had an idea. He said to himself softly, I'll use that move, then. I will use the might of heaven and earth to deal with the destructiveness of your fire and ice. He moved his energies according to the Four Season Saber Technique circulation method. A cold wind started to blow. The crowd even saw snowflakes in the cold wind. Ice filled the place, the boundless cold put everything into hibernation. Strange, why do I feel that it just became late winter? The crowd was distracted by the strangeness of the phenomenon. As the snowflakes drifted down in the cold wind, Xiao Chen's saber suddenly moved. A sudden clap of thunder roared out. The thunder contained a desolate killing intent. When this thunder roared, all the cold wind and snow instantly vanished. Replacing them was the cool breeze of spring. Everything woke up from their winter hibernation and they cried out. This was the first move of the Four Season Saber technique, Spring Saber. Xiao Chen used the state of Spring Thunder. It carried a strand of killing qi, commanding 10,000 beasts to cry out. TL Note I am not sure if the author got the Saber technique's name confused or not. Earlier there was a mention of Spring Thunder as well as First Clap of Spring Thunder, 10,000 beasts cry out. The only explanation I can give is that Spring Saber might be the generic name of the move and as different people get different comprehension, they might have different names for the technique. A surging energy came from the Saber, accompanied by a berserk roar of thunder. This was the might of nature. Winter ends and spring arrives, the cycle of nature cannot be blocked. A boundless force spread out from the Saber's edge. This was the pure force of nature the cycle of the seasons, the end of winter and the start of spring. Xiao Chen infused this cycle, using spring thunder as a primer, into this saber technique. The, sur the offensive wave formed by the merger of ice and fire could no longer maintain its balance. It instantly exploded, like a berserk dragon or a runaway wild horse. A strong wind howled through the place. Countless energy fluctuations appeared in space. Several cultivators who had not retreated far enough vomited mouthfuls of blood at the impact from the fluctuations, they all turned very pale. The amount of force unleashed when ice and fire worked together is really startling. The others were even more shocked as they quickly retreated another hundred meters. Just as the destructive wave of energy approached Xiao Chen, the natural laws on his saber broke the very front of the ferocious wave. Xu. The sharp saber light turned into a gust of spring wind, cutting the wave of energy into two. As the spring wind blew, the birds and beasts cried out, everything waking from their winter slumber. All the fluctuations vanished to nothing in the face of the natural laws. This one saber technique vanquished that offensive and ferocious energy wave. What saber technique is this? Unexpectedly, I can feel the natural laws. The energy wave of ice and fire disappeared, it did not have any effect at all. When everyone saw such a bizarre scene, they were all deeply shaken. Xuanyuan Zantian, the Southern Sea's four heroes, and the others frowned as well, they could not understand what had happened. The saber light that turned into the spring wind continued on without losing any of its might. It arrived right before Bai Zan and struck his chest as he watched with a shocked gaze. The energy in the wind instantly poured out. Bai Zan did his best to block but it felt like he was going against nature. That energy was astonishingly powerful. Fu Si. 
After a moment, Baizan's defenses collapsed. He vomited a mouthful of blood and was knocked high into the air. After that, he fell back to the floor heavily. Finally, he bounced a few times. Xiao Chen withdrew his saber. He felt a little dizzy. After checking for a moment, he discovered that his essence and mental energy were significantly drained. This move exhausted an unexpectedly large amount of mental energy and essence in order to infuse the natural laws into the saber technique. As a result, it was not easy to pull off. Xiao Chen shifted his gaze to the ancient conveying formation and ignored Bai Zan. The elders of the Northern Sea's four noble clans were the true threat. As for Bai Zan, he could no longer hold him back. Xiao Chen did not go through the training on Nirvana Island for nothing. Xiao Chen flew up and pointed his saber at the ancient conveying formation. He had to break it. Otherwise, with eight martial monarchs coming out, he would not have any chance at survival. Thinking of breaking the ancient conveying formation, that's not going to happen. Lying on the ground with disheveled hair, Baizan cut a sorry figure. He did not look as calm as he had earlier. He simply shouted at Xiao Chen and rushed over. Xiao Chen frowned, feeling rage in his heart. You, Bai Zan, have repeatedly used all sorts of insidious plots to push me to my death, forcing me to stay in Nirvana Island for half a year. You set me up to offend the Northern Sea's four noble clans, causing me to cut short my experiential training. Now, you are blocking me again. You really think I can't do anything to you. Xiao Chen sheathed his lunar shadow saber and placed it by his waist. Then, he turned around and burned his vital chi before punching. Bang! A dragon fist descended from the burning azure clouds in the sky, like a meteor. It instantly struck Bai Zan's head, smashing him into the ground again. Xiao Chen's hand did not stop moving. He changed his fist into a claw. The dragon fist opened up and an azure dragon hidden in the clouds gave off a loud roar. A dragon claw descended from the sky and pressed by Zan, who had just gotten up again, back to the floor. Cracks extended out on the floor and Bai Zan fell into the cracks. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen's figure flashed and quickly descended to the crack. He stretched out his hand and pulled Bai Zan back up with a suction force. Bai Zan felt pain all over his body. When he saw Xiao Chen pulling him up, he sent out an ice palm strike. Xiao Chen's leg burst forth with power as he kicked. The ice palm shattered and Bai Zan was knocked away again. No matter what tricks you play, today, I will beat you up. You might be the first disciple of the Evil Moon Pavilion's pavilion master, but if you try to kill me, I will repay it tenfold. Bang, bang, bang. Xiao Chen's figure flashed as he activated the blood flame shoes. He sent punches and kicks at Bai Zan. Bai Zan did what he could to block but to no avail. Bai Zan had been severely injured by Xiao Chen's spring thunder chop, then he was struck by burning the heavens. How could he block Xiao Chen's attacks? TL Note The Four Season Saber technique seems to have another name here, spring thunder chop. I will continue to monitor this as I translate more and make changes if necessary in the future. Xiao Chen beat Bai Zan until Bai Zan no longer looked human. Blood poured out of his mouth. Void battle armor. At this crucial moment, Bai Zan had no other choice but to take out his trump card. His body flickered with light and a spatial tear appeared behind him. He quickly hid within it, fleeing miserably. Ha ha ha. Xiao Chen, so what if you can beat me up? The ancient conveying formation is almost finished. When the eight martial monarchs of the four noble clans come out, you will be a dead man. Wait until I perfectly merge my ice and fire together. By then, I will be the evil moon pavilion's pavilion master. I will march up to the heavenly saber pavilion and kill my way there. All your friends and family will suffer endless torture because of you. I want you to not be able to die in peace. As the spatial tear slowly mended, Bai Zan's raging shouts came out from it. Xiao Chen's face remained impassive. He waved his right hand and just as the spatial tear had almost completely mended, the thunder fire sword in his palm fired out. 
A miserable cry came from the spatial tear. Kai, Kai. The thunder fire sword circled around in the void for a while before turning palm sized once again. Then, it returned to Xiao Chen's hand, continuously dripping blood from its tip. It pierced the chest. I hope you can survive that. Xiao Chen placed the thunder fire sword back into his palm. Then, he quickly flew over to the ancient conveying formation with a sullen expression. The formation lines were resplendent. The eight figures looked very defined already, they would be breaking out very soon. Could it be that this ancient conveying formation has been activated to deal with him? What exactly did this person do? Unexpectedly, the Northern Sea's four noble clans are activating the ancient conveying formation to deal with him. First, he finished off the new Northern Sea's four young masters with one move. Then, he defeated the evil moon pavilions by Zon. If such a genius fell, it would be too unfortunate. Why is he not running and just standing there? Could it be that he thinks he can break the ancient conveying formation? When the eight martial monarchs arrived, there would not be any unexpected surprise. Even if Xiao Chen was as strong as Xuanyuan Zantian, he could not survive. As the crowd below watched, they felt it was a pity. The ancient conveying formation would exhaust a hundred thousand superior grade spirit stones before it could be activated. Even martial monarchs would find it difficult to break. Xiao Chen focused his gaze and kept looking at the formation with his spiritual sense. He was looking for the weak points of the formation. The compendium of cultivation contained a lot of information on formations. He was much more familiar with formations than anyone else of this world. If it was a complete formation, given his strength, it would be impossible for him to break it. However, if the formation was not complete, then breaking it might be possible. I found it. Indeed, it is as I expected. How can an ancient formation be fixed so easily? Xiao Chen muttered as he focused his eyes on a certain spot of the formation. A scroll flew out from Xiao Chen's body before he grasped it with his right hand. Then, he used his left hand to unfurl the painting. The lotus flower-shaped scarlet blood frost flame shot out from the hand in the painting. Under the control of Xiao Chen's spiritual sense, the scarlet blood frost flame quickly fell to the incomplete portion of the formation. When the crowd saw the descending scarlet blood frost flame, their eyes filled with astonishment. What is that? Kai. When the scarlet blood frost flame landed on the weak point, the scarlet flames immediately burned that part. The complicated and brilliant formation started trembling. The entire space shook together with the formation and spun around them. The huge divine dragon warship began vibrating with the formation. Everyone could not help but feel panic. Ka Ca. Finally, the scarlet blood frost flame burned through and that weak point shattered. The entire formation started falling apart like dominoes, cracks extending out continuously. The ancient conveying formation was something that seemed mythical. Unexpectedly, it imploded right before everybody's eyes. The eight defined figures also started to turn illusionary. They flickered continuously before finally vanishing one by one. Relief now appeared on Xiao Chen's face. He said softly, it is finished. Boom. Just as Xiao Chen was about to retrieve the scarlet blood frost flame, the final figure flickered wildly. Before the formation vanished, a well-defined figure materialized. At the very last second, an old green-robed martial monarch was sent through the formation. Ignorant child, do you think you can hide after killing the heirs of our northern sea's four noble clans? Bang! The green-robed old man punched. The fist wind created by quintessence shattered the scarlet blood frost flame into petals, forcing it to return to the painting. The old man's figure flashed, he was so fast, his movements could not be seen. He instantly arrived before Xiao Chen and kicked towards his head. When the green-robed old man kicked, wind howled. The wind spiraled around his foot and turned into an intense storm. The might of this kick was astonishing. Bang! Xiao Chen's hand had just touched the lunar shadow saber's handle when that kick struck his chest. He was blasted back like a cannonball and crashed to the floor. 
Xiao Chen vomited a large mouthful of blood. The quintessence from the kick invaded his body. The quintessence immediately overpowered the essence that came from the crystalline qi whirlpool. The essence had no way of resisting at all. The quintessence moved about in Xiao Chen's meridians and rushed into his chest. Then, it started to injure all his internal organs. As a result, he vomited mouthful after mouthful of blood. Quintessence was indeed superior. No matter how vast or pure Xiao Chen's essence was, he could not block it. The distance between the two of them were like wood and iron. No matter how hard wood was, it could never be harder than iron. Xiao Chen struggled for a moment before he managed to stand up. He pushed off the ground and activated the secret technique of the blood flame shoes. His speed instantly increased to Mach 4.5. He quickly grabbed Leng Yu and rushed to the front. Seeing Xiao Chen so pale, Leng Yu asked worriedly, Are you alright? I have. The green robed old man in the sky revealed astonishment in his eyes. He had used 50% of his strength in his kick. Even a peak great perfection half step martial monarch would have been severely injured or dead. However, Xiao Chen still had the strength to stand up. Not only that, he could even run so fast. What a strong physical body. The green robed old man laughed maniacally. However, no matter how strong your physical body is, you are just a martial king. Time to die. The green robed old man's figure flashed. He appeared before Xiao Chen like he teleported. The quintessence of the green robed old man gathered at his feet and the surrounding winds formed a tornado beneath him. At this moment, the winds converged around him like they were obeying his commands. Xiao Chen seemed like he had eyes behind his head. He did not even look back before spinning around to deliver a kick. His was not as fast as the green robed old man's, so he could only try and anticipate the old man's moves. Bang! Bang! Xiao Chen's kick struck the old man's foot. He vomited another mouthful of blood as he shot forward again. Somersaulting to dissipate the force from the old man's kick, he continued flying forward. The first time, he did not even see me kick. Now, he unexpectedly was able to anticipate my action, he even borrowed the force of my action to increase his momentum. The green-robed old man's face sank. His figure flickered, leaving behind afterimages as he quickly chased after Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen looked back and a ferocious purple flame started burning in his eye. With a thought, the earth-shattering purple flame spewed out of his right eye. The green-robed old man chasing Xiao Chen was flying too fast. The purple flame struck him and all his clothes and hair started burning. Poo! Robust quintessence exploded from the old man. The purple flames remained lit for only one breath before they were smothered. The old man's clothes were burned to tatters. His hair gave off black smoke and he looked very miserable. He was not injured, but he felt extremely angered. Someone from the junior generation was playing with a bona fide martial monarch like him this way. How hateful. I will definitely kill you today. A powerful sonic boom roared in the air. The green-robed old man executed his movement technique at its limit, arriving before Xiao Chen in a few breaths. Xiao Chen frowned slightly. Then, he raised his hand and fired out the thunder fire sword. After that, he turned around and ran without even bothering to check what it did. The thunder fire sword burned with a purple flame. The thunder fire sword that Leng Yu tempered had its speed and might increased four times. Within a hundred meters, it could reach a speed faster than Mach 5. Just after the old man appeared before Xiao Chen, the thunder fire sword arrived in front of his head, startling him. Kai. Before the old man could react, the thunder fire sword was already at point-blank range. Right then, he did not have enough time to deploy his quintessence shield. At the critical moment, the old man could only tilt his head to try and dodge. The fast thunder fire sword brushed past the old man's face. The sharp wind that followed the sword left a shallow wound on his left cheek. This delay allowed Xiao Chen to run farther. He also injured the old man. Being played by someone from the junior generation infuriated the old man. He trembled and said in a quavering voice, Damn it. 
Damn it. Bang. Bang. The old man stomped twice and the entire place immediately trembled. The surrounding people were thrown off balance. This showed how strong these stomps were. I don't believe that I can't catch you. The green-robed old man shouted furiously as he chased after Xiao Chen in a straight line. He smashed the buildings in the way directly into dust. Xiao Chen left his spiritual sense locked on the green-robed old man. Without looking behind, he could sense the old man's every move. Xiao Chen floated to the floor and gently set Leng Yu down. Then, he turned around to face the old man. The 24 acupoints on his arms opened and two azure dragon tattoos started moving quickly. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. TL note, a mantis trying to stop a chariot, this means overrating oneself and attempting something impossible. When the green-robed old man saw Xiao Chen stop, as though Xiao Chen wanted to block him, the old man could not help but smile disdainfully. He gathered quintessence in his right palm, which immediately glowed up with a resplendent light. Roar, roar. Two loud dragon roars resounded and the azure dragons on Xiao Chen's arm came to life. They left his arm and became two impressive flows of dragon chi, roaring ferociously as they rushed out bearing fangs and claws. When the dragons roared, a dragon's might spread out. It felt like the azure dragons were real. They glared savagely with their eyes and unexpectedly, fear appeared in the green-robed old man's heart. Bang! Bang! The two dragons intertwined and smashed heavily into the green-robed old man's palm. A surging force exploded out, blasting azure shock waves into the surroundings. Caught off guard, several cultivators were sent flying by the shock wave. Damn it, where did such a strong force come from? The green-robed old man was astounded. He unconsciously took ten steps back. By the time the shock waves disappeared, Xiao Chen had carried Leng Yu and fled far away once more. This white-robed bladesman is really powerful. Unexpectedly, he managed to survive a martial monarch for three rounds. If I were to face a martial monarch, I would probably admit defeat even before fighting. How could I have such fighting spirit? A martial monarch already refined his essence into quintessence. They are on a completely different level from us. It is unexpected that this white-robed bladesman managed to survive this long. Who knows, he might be able to escape. After the onlookers saw Xiao Chen force back the green-robed martial monarch time after time, they discussed his feat in astonishment. When the green-robed old man heard these words, he felt like his face was being slapped. His face, charred by the purple thunder true fire, could not help but tremble in anger. The old man squinted his eyes as he watched Xiao Chen fleeing quickly. Now, he was thoroughly angered. His clothes fluttered continuously as a strong wind blew around him. The berserk aura of a martial monarch was unleashed. Get back here. The green-robed old man stretched his hand out and a strong tornado came from his palm, heading towards Xiao Chen. This time, the green-robed old man did not hold back. He activated all his quintessence and used his full power. The tornado quickly caught up to Xiao Chen. An irresistible suction force pulled Xiao Chen back step by step. 500 meters, 400 meters, 200 meters, 50 meters. Xiao Chen did his best to resist. However, he could not stop his body's backward motion. This was the result of the difference in strength. No amount of technique would be able to avoid this. Enough. After watching all this time, Xuanyuan Zantian could no longer keep silent. Wielding his halberd, he shouted as he rushed over on his royal dragon horse. Xuanyuan Zantian's purple cape fluttered in the wind. Azure flood dragons circled around his halberd, emitting a boundless aura. One man, one horse, and one halberd, the eastern sea's little dragon king, Xuanyuan Zantian, made his move. The green-robed old man's face sank. He did not dare to be careless against this person. The tornado from his palm stopped as he sent a palm strike to welcome Xuanyuan Zantian's attack. Bang! When the green-robed old man's full power strike struck the halberd, the circling flood dragons immediately shattered into tiny flood dragons. 
The surging quintessence spread out from the halberd. The royal dragon horse neighed loudly and reared. Xuanyuan Zantian looked like he would fall off at any moment. Xuanyuan Zantian applied some force and pressed down. The royal dragon horse's front hooves landed back on the floor. In the end, it managed to pull through the full power strike of a martial monarch. When the green-robed old man saw Xuanyuan Zantian, he shouted angrily, Xuanyuan Zantian, what are you trying to do? What am I doing? Xuanyuan Zantian snorted coldly. His complexion was somewhat pale. Clearly, he had also found the old man's strike hard to deal with. I just can't stand to see the sight of you bullying someone weaker. At such a great age, you repeatedly struck out against a junior. What is funnier is that you did not even succeed. I feel ashamed for you. The old man turned ashen. He looked at Xuanyuan Zantian with an unfriendly expression as he asked coldly, didn't the Divine Dragon Palace tell you about it? This brat killed the heirs of my Northern Sea's four noble clans. The Northern Sea Alliance will never let him go. Xuanyuan Zantian mocked, you are really not ashamed to say this. If the four heirs were killed by a single person, then they were trash. What right does trash have to rule the Northern Sea Alliance? If they were killed, then so be it. You, the green-robed old man pointed at Xuanyuan Zantian, he was angered to the point of speechlessness. However, he followed up with, I won't bother to speak nonsense with you. I will only ask you one question, are you blocking me in your status as the Divine Dragon Palace's next leader? Xuanyuan Zantian twirled his halberd as he smiled. There is no need to use the Divine Dragon Palace to pressure me. I am myself. I just do not like seeing you bullying someone younger. If you want to take action against me, then give it a try. Ha ha. I have long heard of the Eastern Sea's little dragon king's arrogance and ignorance. Finally, I get to see it for myself. Today, I will show you what the difference between a martial monarch and a martial king is. TL Note Xuanyuan Zantian is actually a half-step martial monarch. However, this still counts as a martial king. After all, a half-step martial monarch is just a peak superior grade martial king that has pushed certain attributes to the limit and is waiting to advance to martial monarch. The green-robed old man laughed instead of raging. He stood up straight with his hands held behind him, the killing chi in his eyes slowly gathering. Dong. 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 Seven young cultivators wearing golden battle armor walked out of the crowd. They were the Western Sea's seven knights. Their leader looked at the green-robed old man and smiled coldly. How impressive. You are already 60 or 70 and you only managed to reach Martial Monarch. Yet you are not ashamed to put on airs like that. We, the Western Sea's seven knights, want to see what kind of Martial Monarch you are. Life and death are left to fate when the younger generations fight each other. The older generation is not supposed to interfere. We, the Southern Sea's four heroes, want to see how capable you are. A mixed group of four cultivators stepped out from the crowd. They stared at the green-robed old man with burning gazes. Xiao Chen had a flabbergasted expression on his face. He had never expected Xuanyuan Zantian the Southern Sea's four heroes, and the Western Sea's seven knights to step up to help him at such a crucial moment. The sudden change in the situation also surprised the other cultivators. However, after thinking about it, they understood what was going on. Times had changed. The geniuses of the younger generation all had a common state. As a superior grade martial saint, Xiao Chen had been able to kill inferior grade martial kings or escape from the hands of a medial grade martial king. However, it was very different for the martial monarch realm. This division was like the gap between heaven and earth. Even an inferior grade martial monarch could easily deal with any genius martial king. The changes that occurred when essence was refined into quintessence was not something a martial king could understand. What if you add me in? Just at this moment, the crowd felt a huge pressure. A soft voice came from the air. Although the voice was not loud, it was pointed, like a knife. A sharp saber intent accompanied this voice, issuing forth from the horizon. 
This saber intent pushed away the aura of the green-robed old man. Wang, Wang, Wang. The two auras clashed in midair. The clang war of death resounded in the sky, as if vast armies were clashing. Shouts and sounds of killing rang out continuously. The aura belonging to the green-robed old man slowly retreated, until it was suppressed back into his body. The outstanding talents of the boundless sea instantly felt the pressure on them vanish, allowing them to breathe much more freely. When the crowd looked up, they saw a figure in midair holding a saber. Scarlet lines extended out from behind him, waving in the wind. That person looked up slightly and withdrew all the scarlet lines back into his body. The scarlet lines poured into his saber as he hacked at the green-robed old man. Kai, Kai. A scarlet saber light limbed the edge of the saber, turning into a strand of saber chi. Everywhere the saber chi passed, space was cut in half, revealing the dark void. Saber intent. This is a martial monarch bladesman. The green-robed old man's expression changed greatly, his eyes clearly filled with alarm. He sent out two surging tornadoes as he moved his legs to flee, going as fast as lightning. You think you can run? That bladesman smiled slightly. Then, he casually tore space with his saber and shattered the two tornadoes. A scarlet light flashed. The bladesman was faster than the green-robed old man, and he soon caught up. The green-robed old man turned around hopelessly. Then, they started fighting in midair. They moved so fast, the onlookers could only see two blurry figures. Cracks extended out into space. Space was being torn apart by the two's battle. Pitch black spatial cracks filled the place. Occasionally, the spatial cracks would extend to some of the cultivators. These cultivators did not even have an opportunity to react, they were immediately torn in two. The others were scared pale and they quickly moved further away. Bang! A green figure fell out of the sky and vomited a mouthful of blood. His entire body was covered in horrifying, bleeding wounds that dyed his green clothes red. The middle-aged bladesman stood proudly in the air. His saber buzzed as he looked coldly at the green-robed old man on the floor. Damn it. The green-robed old man cursed before looking hatefully at Xiao Chen. He got up and beat a hasty, miserable retreat, feeling very dissatisfied. When the bladesman in the air saw the green-robed old man turning tail, he did not chase after the old man. A strand of scarlet shot out from him. Then, the fleeing green-robed old man suddenly fell over. A bloody hole appeared in his forehead, blood gushing out of it. The bladesman's figure flickered again and arrived before Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen gave him a cupped fist salute and said, Many thanks to big brother son. This person was the bloody bladesman, Sun Guangquan. He had trained on Nirvana Island all this time and had finally broken through his bottleneck to become a martial monarch. The title, number one under martial monarch, now no longer had anything to do with him. The bloody bladesman Sun Guangquan had been reborn. His name would resound in the ancient desolate land once again, this time as a martial monarch. Sun Guangquan sheathed his saber and smiled faintly. We are brothers, there is no need to be so polite. Come, I'll bring you away. As Sun Guangquan spoke, a stern sharpness poured out from his body. This gave people great confidence in his words. If he said he would bring you away, he would be able to do it, no one could get in the way. Xiao Chen turned his head and exchanged a glance with Xuanyuan Zantian, who was a horse. Then, he swept his gaze over all the outstanding talents of the boundless sea. Xiao Chen did not say anything. He just took Leng Yu and followed after Sun Guangquan to leave this place. The leader of the Western Sea's Seven Knights, Wu Xie, watched as Xiao Chen and his group left. He smiled and said softly, Xuanyuan Zantian, do you regret letting him go? This person might stop your advance in the next Five Nation Youth competition. Xuanyuan Zantian remained on his royal dragon horse as he turned his head and said, Ha ha. Do you really think that is one of my rivals to rule the boundless sea? I must say you are too dull. The leader of the southern sea's four heroes smiled as he watched Xuanyuan Zantian leave on his horse. 
He said, Wu Xie, this fellow is as arrogant as ever. He did not care about us at all. Wu Xie shrugged his shoulders, rejecting the comment. He said, he has the qualifications to be arrogant. If he can defeat the Black Dragon group, then even if the Western Sea's seven great sects formed an alliance, they would be nothing. Three days later, on a small island that was not under the control of either the Black Dragon group or the Divine Dragon Palace, Sun Guangquan looked at Xiao Chen and said, I can only escort you this far. I will have to leave first. I have some things to do in the ancient desolate land. Xiao Chen nodded his head to indicate he understood. He was returning to the Great Qin Nation and Sun Guangquan was heading for the Great Chu Nation. They were going in different directions. TL note. Earlier, it said that Sun Guangquan was heading to the ancient desolate land, then it said Great Chu Nation here. I believe that he is just returning to the ancient desolate land via the Great Chu Nation. After Sun Guangquan left, Xiao Chen took out the spirit blood jade on his chest and held it out to Leng Yu. He said, as per our agreement, you can go now. When Leng Yu heard this, she felt it was strange. She was not in a rush to accept the spirit blood jade. She asked, you are really going to let me go like this? Don't you want to know my true identity? Applying some strength, Xiao Chen forced the spirit blood jade into Leng Yu's hands. He smiled and said, what does it have to do with me? All I need to know is that you are Leng Yu. I'm leaving. We will meet again if we are fated to. Xiao Chen waved and left without looking back. After a long time, he finally disappeared from Leng Yu's sight. The vast boundless sea surged with huge waves. Xiao Chen flew continuously in the direction of the Great Qin Nation for three days and three nights. Finally, he found a suitable island and stopped there to rest. It was a desolate island. Aside from rocks and scattered trees, there was nothing alive on it. There were no spirit beasts, demonic beasts, or cultivators. The whole island was silent. The island was not that large. Standing in place, Xiao Chen scanned the area with his spiritual sense. He could clearly see every tree, every rock, and every river on the island with it. Very good, I cannot sense any danger here. I will advance my cultivation in this place, Xiao Chen muttered as he withdrew his spiritual sense. Regardless of whether one was a cultivator, demonic beast, or spirit beast, advancing was fraught with danger. Not to mention the difficulties of breaking through itself, there were many strict external conditions as well. It required peace and quiet, no one could disturb him. After Xiao Chen parted from Leng Yu, he had seen many islands. He had chosen not to advance on these islands because there were either demonic beasts, spirit beasts, or lone cultivators undergoing experiential training there. In the process of advancing, Xiao Chen had to be very focused. If he was disturbed at a crucial moment, the results could be disastrous. Failing to advance was a small thing. Instead, the most problematic would be retardation of cultivation or injuring the meridians. Those things would have a great impact on a cultivator forever. Xiao Chen found some tall and sharp rocks. Using his palm as a saber, he flattened them before sitting cross-legged on them. He took out six inferior grade spirit gathering pearls from his universe ring. Then, he placed them on the Tianmen acupoint on his head. He had prior experience using spirit gathering pearls, so he did not feel nervous at all. Xiao Chen circulated his essence, and the six inferior grade spirit gathering pearls floated above his head. Xiao Chen closed his eyes and started to refine them with the purple thunder true fire. Under the influence of the purple thunder true fire, the six spirit gathering pearls turned into spiritual liquid. Spiritual energy started to leak out uncontrollably from the spiritual liquid. A white mist quickly spread out. After a while, the spiritual mist blanketed the entire desolate island. It looked like fog on the sea, making the island look illusionary. Xiao Chen took a deep breath and his semisolid crystalline qi whirlpool spun continuously. Then, a glob of spiritual liquid fell in. 
The instant the spiritual liquid created from the spirit gathering pearls touched Xiao Chen's head, it immediately fell into the Tianmen acupoint. The spiritual liquid moved along his meridians, gushing around like a surging river, carrying boundless energy as it fell. Bang! When the spiritual liquid fell into the Qi whirlpool, it immediately exploded. Xiao Chen turned slightly red as he endured the intense excitation of his essence. The bottleneck he was at loosened under the effects of the spiritual liquid. However, this loosening was far from enough. Bang! 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 Xiao Chen took in another three globs of spiritual liquid in one breath, agitating the essence in his body extremely. Blood leaked out from the corner of Xiao Chen's lips, his internal organs were somewhat injured. It moved. I am just a bit short. A bit more. Then, I will be able to advance to half-step martial monarch. Xiao Chen was resolute, undaunted by his internal injuries. Finally, he merged the last two globs of spiritual liquid together before letting them fall into him. One drop of spiritual liquid was like a waterfall gushing down. One glob was like a huge river. Two globs, merged together, would be like a vast ocean. The spiritual liquid that merged together fell extremely fast. Before Xiao Chen could react, the purple crystalline Qi whirlpool exploded. The space around his dantian became chaotic. Boundless surging essence raced around in Xiao Chen's body. He quickly opened the 24 acupoints on his arm. Boom! Dragon roars resounded without end. 24 strands of dragon qi emerged, blasting the surrounding hills into dust. When Xiao Chen's dantian turned chaotic and fog filled the area, he felt worried, not knowing if he succeeded or not. After the fog lifted and the space cleared up, Xiao Chen immediately sank his consciousness down to his dantian. Xiao Chen saw a crystal whirlpool giving off a resplendent light. The previous gaseous state had now become solid crystal. The entire whirlpool was now formed by pieces of crystals. Boom! After working hard continuously for four years, Xiao Chen finally caught up to those peak geniuses that had surpassed him by a lot in the past. Now, Xiao Chen was a match for these people, whether from the ancient desolate land, the five great nations, even the strongest great Jin nation, and the boundless sea. He already opened his sea of consciousness. Now that he was a half-step martial monarch, he no longer feared any genius cultivator under martial monarch. However, this is just the starting point. The person who reaches martial monarch first will be the person who snatches the initiative, the one who will become the main character of this era. Xiao Chen slowly landed on the ground. He quickly calmed himself before saying, there is another nine months to the five nation youth competition. I still have to return to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion in Mohe City to settle some things. I should take advantage of this opportunity to further comprehend the four season saber technique. Now, that my cultivation has strengthened, my martial techniques need to match it as well. The spiritual fog that covered the island slowly faded at this moment. Xiao Chen stared blankly for a moment. Unexpectedly, ten iron crocodiles had arrived at the shore of the desolate island at some point in time. The iron crocodile was a rank 8 spirit beast from the bottom of the sea. They were about 2 meters tall and 100 meters long. Their four limbs were very strong and they could walk on land for a short period of time. These iron crocodiles were probably attracted by the spiritual fog. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and said, Good timing. I just advanced to half-step martial monarch. Rank 8 spirit beast should be enough of a challenge for me to test my strength. Spring Thunder Chop. Xiao Chen circulated his energies in the circulation method of the Four Season Saber technique. Soon, snow appeared in the air, creating a scene of late winter. As a clap of spring thunder resounded, a boundless natural law poured out from the saber's edge. Winter ended and spring arrived, the cycle of seasons could not be stopped. The winds of spring that the saber chi transformed into blew across the island. Gentle sounds could be heard as the ten iron crocodiles were instantly chopped in half. Xiao Chen sheathed his saber in satisfaction. He said softly, the spring thunder is only a primer. 
The true killing move is hidden in the warm winds of spring. This move can become one of my trump cards. The spring winds blow, concealing great danger. Summer is blazing. I will use fire as the primer. When the sun sits high in the sky, the land is burned until it is desolate. Inspiration flashed in Xiao Chen's mind. He immediately thought of the state of the Four Season Saber Technique's second move, Summer. The more he thought about it, the more he found it fitting. So, he quickly tried it out. When the winds of spring end, the blazing sun sits high in the sky. The pitch black lunar shadow saber suddenly released a resplendent light that looked like the blazing sun burning continuously. Burning to desolation, Xiao Chen roared ferociously as he hacked at a small mountain with a resplendent saber light. The saber light turned into a ball of fire and shot out like a meteor, landing on the mountain. Bang, bang, bang. The fireball landed on the middle of the mountain and the small mountain shattered. A fierce fire spread all over and the remaining bottom half of the mountain burned continuously. Good, good, good. I shall call this move burning to desolation. He he. Indeed, inspiration is needed to come up with moves. With inspiration, I was able to succeed in one go, Xiao Chen exclaimed, his face filled with excitement as he looked at the sea of flames covering the mountain. What should I use for autumn? Bai Shui A used the wind of autumn rustling autumn winds, sweeping up fallen leaves. He drew inspiration from the autumn wind sweeping the fallen leaves, creating an attack that sweeps away all obstacles. However, I used wind in spring already and should not repeat it. What should I use, then? Aside from wind, what else can bring out autumn the best? Things like inspiration were too elusive. This time, no inspiration dawned on Xiao Chen so he could only think very hard. The sun rose and set, clouds gathered and scattered. The days went by one by one on the desolate island. Soon, one month went by. In the past few days, Xiao Chen had been immersed in the comprehension of the four-season saber technique. After practicing the spring thunder chop and the burning to desolation for thousands of times over many days and nights, Xiao Chen had already become very familiar with them. He could execute them immediately with just a thought. However, Xiao Chen did not make any headway on the comprehension of the third move. Autumn, he was still very much at sea. Bai Shui He's rustling autumn winds, sweeping up fallen leaves had made a very deep impression on Xiao Chen. It had already left a mark in Xiao Chen's mind and it was hard for him to deviate from it. He had difficulty thinking of something else, aside from wind, to represent autumn. Rustling autumn winds, rustling autumn winds, why do the autumn winds rustle? Xiao Chen casually swung his saber and circulated the four season saber technique. His saber hummed and an autumn wind started blowing. The huge rocks shattered everywhere the autumn wind passed. When the wind blew at them, they turned into dust, the huge rocks vanished. No, this is not something I comprehended by myself. No matter how strong it is, I'll have a hard time improving it. Xiao Chen shook his head. Then, he sheathed his saber and frowned. He placed the saber beside him and lay on the ground. He stared at the clouds in the sky and entered deep thought again. Rustling autumn winds, why must the autumn winds rustle? Rumble. At some point in time, the white clouds in the sky slowly scattered. Churning dark clouds covered the sky and rumbles of thunder resounded. Plop, plop. Drops of rain fell on Xiao Chen's nose. He felt a slight chill right away, startling him. Suddenly, a light bulb went off in Xiao Chen's head. Why must the autumn wind rustle? It is merely the perception of people. The tree withers and the autumn wind blows at it. With the force from the wind, all the dead leaves are blown away. It is cold and tyrannical, without a shred of compassion. This was Bai Shui He's comprehension. However, autumn was also cooling. The extreme heat of summer was unbearable. When autumn arrived, how could one not look forward to it? Why would they think of rustling? Rumble. The rain, which had been brewing in the dark clouds above, fell from the sky. Xiao Chen's clothes were soon drenched. However, he did not feel cold at all he only felt refreshed. Autumn rain, 
Autumn rain, this is my Dao, my saber. Bai Shuei, you are a martial emperor of the saber. Since you comprehended the rustling autumn wind sweeping the dead leaves down, then I, Xiao Chen, will use the autumn rain as a primer to compete with you. Although Xiao Chen was completely drenched by the rain, he had an extremely carefree expression on his face. He started to laugh loudly as he finally figured it out. Then, he quickly circulated his energies for the four season saber technique. He moved his saber as he willed, slowly brandishing it in the rain. As the saber moved, it pulled over the surrounding rain, forming a thin screen of water before the blade. When Xiao Chen felt the energy of the rain on his saber, he rejoiced. The energies in his body gathered on the saber before erupting. A saber intent emerged from the saber's edge. Under the influence of the saber intent, the rain that filled the sky, several ten thousand drops of it, quickly converged. Unexpectedly, the saber drew all the rain in the sky. Eventually, the rain turned into a rippling wave, then a chilling saber chi. The saber chi quickly flew out and cut across the surface of the sea. The vast sea immediately parted. The state contained in the saber was gentle and quiet, it made one feel very comfortable. It was like meeting a gentle and refined fairy, all the frustrations in one's heart would be gone forever. However, the might of the saber could even split the sea. It was no weaker than Bai Shuihei's rustling autumn winds. I succeeded. This is a gentle saber. Let's call this faded person in autumn waters. Xiao Chen smiled and sheathed his saber. The rain that stopped earlier poured down once again. Time slowly went by and another month passed peacefully. Xiao Chen continued to familiarize himself with the three moves that he already comprehended the spring wind chop, the burning to desolation, and the faded person in autumn waters. Every move used a different state, they were unique. Xiao Chen used his own understanding and comprehension to give birth to this four-season saber technique, but it was stronger than the four-season saber technique of others. There were still two more moves remaining for the four-season saber technique. They were winter and cycle of seasons. They both also required Xiao Chen to gain his own comprehensions. If Xiao Chen followed the path Bai Shuei took, Xiao Chen could complete the four season saber technique. However, it would be meaningless to just follow what others did. Never mind, I will not think about it for now. It is already not easy for me to comprehend three moves. This four season saber technique places too much focus on comprehension and opportunity. In the past one month, Xiao Chen had been thinking about the final two moves. However, he did not make any progress. He had already wasted two months and did not have much time left. Dealing with the matters of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion and the Xiao Chen in Mohe City would require a lot of time. There was only half a year to the Five Nation Youth Competition. So he could not afford to spend any more time thinking. On this particular day, the weather was clear and pleasant, the sun shone bright in the sky. Xiao Chen did a simple execution of the first three moves of the Four Seasons Saber technique while on the desolate island. Then, he sheathed his saber and started his journey. He quickly advanced through the clouds. The wind howled loudly in his ears, and his clothes and hair fluttered non-stop. Now that he was a half-step martial monarch, he could fly continuously in the sky. Moving at Mach 4 allowed him to cover great distances quickly. As he traveled, he passed many white clouds. Seven days later, the entry to the Tianwu continent, Thunder Emperor Valley, appeared before Xiao Chen. Then, he stopped and entered deep thought. Xiao Chen originally intended to fly over. However, when he saw the inextinguishable and immortal will of thunder in the air, he changed his mind. By relying on the Scarlet Throne, Xiao Chen had grasped the state of massacre to the limit. He could no longer improve it by killing and would have to depend on his own comprehension. However, Xiao Chen's state of thunder was still stuck at great perfection, he was still far from the limits. The immortal will of thunder in the Thunder Emperor Valley might be a great opportunity for him. After Xiao Chen made his decision, he descended from the clouds. Then, he headed for the top of the valley. 
Normally, the Thunder Emperor Valley would have many people trying to comprehend the state of thunder. Furthermore, they were all experts at the half step martial monarch realm. When they saw Shao Chen appear, they frowned. Every time the immortal will of thunder appeared, it would follow a certain route as it moved about in the air. All the good spots along this route had been claimed by others long ago. Furthermore, one would require a quiet environment to comprehend the state. The fewer people around, the better the effects. If there were too many people, then their comprehensions would be affected. Thus, the Thunder Emperor Valley was not a good place to stay. The people who were already there did not welcome newcomers. They could even be said to hate them. Xiao Chen carefully observed the boundaries of the valley. He also discovered the direction of the immortal will of thunder's movement in the churning.